Hey guys, it is Lily here from Crafting Fruit Mental Health and it's been ages since I filmed something so I'm really excited to get on with this video. Amazingly, it has been a year since I left hairdressing, started my new career and venture into life. I was hairdressing ever since I left school. So from the age of 16, I had been doing hairdressing up until the age of 21. It's a weird feeling that it was a year ago. I mean, it was my life for so long. What I do now is I work part-time in retail and work on my art college at home. And then I also make these YouTube videos and do other things with crafting crew mental health, which you can always keep up to date with on my social media, which is all linked down below if you are interested. How do I feel a year on? Do I regret leaving? No, I don't. I made another video on why I left hairdressing. I will link it up in the cards. No, I don't regret it because I left because I got very stressed out beforehand. So earlier that year, I'd started having really bad panic attacks at work and I wasn't enjoying it. And if you know anything about hairdressing, it doesn't pay well. <laughs> so was it worth all the stress for the pay? No. To be in hairdressing you have to have the passion for it and want to have that drive and I never had that knack of it. I always felt bad at hairdressing, I, you know, it wasn't the people around me that made me feel bad but it's a lot of pressure on someone. When you go to a salon you want your hair to be perfect, your hair is the crown of your head and Rightfully so, you want it to be perfect, so if I make a human error, it's a big deal. And it's very scary doing that sort of thing. Definitely got scared, and there was definitely years of anxiety because of that. I used to have social anxiety when I was younger, and I've always suffered from anxiety ever since I was a little kid. Therefore, it probably wasn't the best career choice for me, but in the long run, it helped me in a lot of ways. Now, would I never do hairdressing if I went back? I don't know. There are different opinions. It's made me who I am today, but I do have some regrets for doing it at that age. I wanted to leave school. At school, I had bad panic attacks and had to be eventually dragged in and was very, very ill. Therefore, I wanted to just leave school. I didn't want to be in education anymore. I wanted to be a hairdresser because I always felt good going to the hair salon and I wanted to help out other people, which is still really what I want to do now. I want to help out people in a mental health way and in other ways as in supporting people with autism and stuff like that, while also having my art career as well. If you're looking into doing hairdressing or something similar at 16, I would definitely consider like, do it if you really want to and it's your passion. I don't want people to say, don't ever do hairdressing, it's the worst career ever because some people really love it and I just, for me, wasn't the best choice and there were times I loved it. I met amazing people for it and I learnt a lot of skills from it. The problem I had, though, was at 16, I think you make a lot of friends at college and in sixth form. You have this new career and you're around people your same age. I didn't have that. I had, I went into a salon where the nearest age to me was five years older. And in that particular salon, we didn't really connect the people and me for various reasons. But I didn't make any friendships in my own age group and I really could use that. I mean, talking to friends now, they've got a lot of friends that they met through sixth form or college and they've really made that sort of bond where I don't really have that. I have friends that I've sort of met either through people. Actually, I think all my friends have been through people. So I don't really have the sort of thing of, oh, we met at college or something like that. Like, it's always, oh, it's Blasey Blah's friend or, something like that and you know like if you asked me I was thinking about it the other day like last year if anyone said to me like so I hang out with my sister's friends a lot and you know they are my sister's friends they're all my sister's friends age there was a point where they were she you know didn't horribly say it but she was like remember this is my mate 
and that really got to me last year like last year I wrote down that sort of thing if you said oh you're not great at trip picking friends or anything along the friend line with me I was just would break down in tears because my boyfriend was long distance I had him and I'm very lucky to have him but other than him I had no one honestly like I was really alone. I definitely felt alone because all of my friends were at uni and you know they've all got friends at uni and all that and then there's me that sort of on my own. Since then I'm actually <laughs> I make a joke that I've got I've hit my limit of friends because I am just so busy all the time and this year I'm not I'm not sensitive anymore about that. I felt like I missed out on that sort of experience. Now, I didn't want to go back into college to start a new place because of the panic attacks. And if I went back now, I mean, the problem I had was I'm on antidepressants now that help amazingly, but they wouldn't give me them back at that time. If they gave me those antidepressants and I felt how I feel now, I think I would have benefited going to one of the local colleges. Not sixth form, because I wasn't clever enough. Do I regret not going to uni? I always knew I wasn't going to go to uni. Yes and no. Seeing my sister go through uni, so she's 10 years older than me, seeing her go through uni, I was like, hell no. I don't want to do it because I saw her go through a lot of stress. She loved uni. Now she will say, no I didn't, but she handles stress well. And she handles, I mean she's a doctor, so she's very, very, very clever. She handles that side of it well. I knew I didn't, I was a never a good reader or writer, therefore all of my other academics were low. Do I regret not going to uni? Sort of, but I think in the long term it wouldn't have done me good. Would I, do I want a career from uni? No, but I wish I kind of had that dorm experience, but do I think I'm adapted for that? No, I don't think my mental health would have been able to take it. So if I had a child that was thinking the same decision, I would, I would say, Think about it because you're not going to get as many friends through your route because the whole time through hairdressing, I don't think I ever really worked with anyone my age. My salon was really good. They loved me for me. So that was fabulous and they were amazing and I've made amazing friends through there. But I do think leaving and going to a bigger company was good for me because now I've can get along with loads of people and especially my own age group because I don't really have many friends on my own. I do now but I I did kind of before but it was sort of always three people and I don't know I think my work is just really good. I've now actually I used to be the last shift of the day so I was really late so I kind of did get a lot of the college sort of kids and I got along with them and all that uh, but now I work in the morning and actually I'm I think I am the youngest, or I'm the second youngest, but they're all women. <laughs> I've gone back to working with people that are, I get along pe better with people who are slightly older than me, and that's that's absolutely fine. I don't really use my skill much anymore. I mean, I will be having a video come out soon all about wig cutting, um, so you can see that. I haven't done it yet, I'm filming that today, so I don't know if it's gone badly or not. What has happened since is I have started doing the art college online. So it has been a rocky year and I feel like now, a year on, I have settled. I have settled into pattern. First I was like, because I, I always worked full time, I never got the summers off. That's another thing. If you're thinking of going into college or anything like that, summers. You will never get summers again. You have to book off your holiday if you want to go straight into work. Think about it. 20 days plus bank holidays a year you get. Especially if you work weekends, that is a lot. And we only got four weekends off a year. Keep that in mind if you're thinking of going into hairdressing. It is anti-social hours and you'll never be able to go out on a Friday night. At first, because I didn't really have that time off, I was like, it's like a bit of a gap year for me to try and build up my art skill. And also I was struggling with work, my mental health and stuff. And this has, my mental health is so much better. So everything is going well. If you have any questions at all or anything, like if you want to be a hairdresser or if you are a hairdresser, 
let me know or if you're not if you fancy a career change or you're thinking of this sort of stuff let me know down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and of course please subscribe to join our unicorn Felic because we are we are fabulous here i love you guys and i hope you have a fabulous week